Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if I can make this one come up a treat. It actually is quite a treat. I can't afford this kind of food and I can't cook it myself. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see how we go with this. No, I don't need that. Okay, let's see what this thing is. It is Cole's Christmas Christmas your way. I think it's an old one. I think this one, not this year, last year's, but the year before. And we're interested in this lovely taste the wild. So we're interested in the, mainly in the prawns in the hands. So we're interested in this section, sort of, roughly. So yeah, prawns, yum. They taste delish, but they're fucking expensive. And I'm not rich. I'm not a fucking richo. I don't fucking belong in the rich world at this stage. At this stage, at least, I'm not rich. Fucking the opposite. I don't have the fucking money for this sort of shit. Even though it'd be nice, nice to have prawns. I do like prawns. I just can't afford them, and I'm not a person who can cook. I don't have the money. I can get some. I, I get, I'm, I'm disabled, so I get the NDIS. And I get someone to help cook my meals, but I don't have this sort of food. I'm not rich. I have to buy cheap stuff, like Coles branded food, rather than buy even Coles, Coles um, prawns would still be too expensive for me. So I can't afford that. Now that looks really quite nice. I think we can utilise that. Living within my means, folks, which is really difficult when you're an artist and you're trying to promote yourself and you're trying to get out there. You spent more than a decade pouring your soul into this project, trying to get airplay, trying to get recognised for what I can do, not what I can't do, not what I'm disabled. Currently, the disability takes the hog of my life. It ruins everything. It, it fucks everything up. I know I shouldn't hate myself for being disabled, but I really feel it drags me under when I'm trying to concentrate on what I can do. It really does. I had a cord around my neck and it came out breech. Cord around my neck and that equals oxygen starvation and and yep, you end up losing your fucking short term memory and your hippocampus functions before you even get out of the fucking well, I don't know how, how long it took for that to happen. Mum used to tell me keep telling me that I had a cord around my neck and it came out breech. And I wondered why I had memory problems even as a kid. And I also believe I might have high-functioning autism, otherwise known as Asperger's Syndrome, which is responsible for the good stuff. This power to concentrate on my photocopier art, even though I and, and not be too concerned about my social life, which I which is almost zip zero, except when I'm at work or when I'm interacting with the NDIS or the Mission Australia people. Uh, but I don't have an actual social social life as in a proper social life where I actually have friends actual friends as opposed to people who help me uh, so yeah basically that's pretty much it in a nutshell I don't have a social life and I didn't celebrate New Year's Eve this is the closest thing I can come to celebrating is to do my art and that's come up looking quite a treat I do wonder if we could do a switcheroo or if we're going to leave it like that. I think we'll leave it like that. That looks really good. I think we can call it quits.